Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand what is big O of big O notation. We have clearly understood the definition of asymptotic notation and the different types of asymptotic notations in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video because the understanding of those concepts is very much important for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, we'll try to understand and what is big O notation? So this is uh, math is involved in this uh, definition of big O notation. So we will try to understand this. We will try to slowly understand step by step every concept. We will try to understand in a sequential way. So uh, uh, watch this video. Our suggestion is to watch this video as many times as possible until you get the clarity because it is a bit uh, complex and mathematical concepts are involved in it. So please watch it as many times as possible. So the definition states that the function f of n is equal to big O of g of n when can if, if we have a function that function is so here is it is not equals in this case of definition it is is a function f of n is considered as big O of g of n if and only if there exists positive constants c and n naught if there exists some positive constants in the definition uh, if there exists if that f of n in the definition of f of n if there exists a constant c, c and n naught such that f of n is always less than or equal to some constant c into g of n if f of n if we can describe f of n uh, if we can if we can say that f of n is less than or equal to some constant c into g of n for all values of n where n is greater than n naught so after the value of n naught for all the values of n after the value of n naught for all the values of n if we can say that if we can say that f of n is less than or equal to f of n is less than or equal to some constant c into g of n if we can say that this is true for all the values of n greater than n naught then we can say that then we can say that f of n is equal to big o of g of n this is a defined uh, 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 theorem okay so the the definition uh, the definition of this theorem is not required at this point of time but it is a defined theorem so what this again what this statement states is if f of n is less than or equal to some constant into g of n for all the values of n greater than n uh, where n is greater than n naught so after n naught all the values of n for all the values of n if this if this value is true if this if this declaration is true then we can say that f of n as big o of g of n let's try to understand this you may not be able to understand this in that way uh, in this way so let's try to take an example uh, and we'll try to understand it here in this case in our case this definition is applicable for any application but as we are discussing about the algorithms f of n is time complexity f of n is time complexity see here here assume that the time complexity of an algorithm is 3n plus 2 now we can say that this 3n plus 2 is equal to some big o of n here uh, this is g of n here this is g of n we can say that this 3n plus 2 can be represented as big o of n both of them are same so with this notation we are having some uh, we are having we are, we are giving some meaningful statement so what that meaningful statement that we will try to understand in our later video at this point of time we will try to understand the definition of we are trying to understand the definition of big o so when can we say that 3n plus 2 is is big O of n? When can we say that? When can we say that is if if 3n plus 2 if 3n plus 2 is 
लेस देन और इक्वल टू सम कॉन्स्टेंट सी इंटू जी ऑफ एन सो हियर वी आर कंसिडरिंग दिस एज फोर एन वाई वाई आई हैव कंसिडर दिस फोर एन दैट ऑल्सो विल गेट द क्लैरिटी इफ दिस वैल्यू इज ट्रू फॉर ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ एन ग्रेटर देन एन नॉट all the values of n greater than n not so how to find this n not so after that n not this should be true for all the values of n okay let's try to understand this how to find this n is let's substitute this here in the place of n we'll start from 0 okay 0 means it is 3 plus 2 3 sorry 2 2 less than or equal to 0 is it true no it is not true now again substitute the value of take the value of this is for n is equal to 0 and next substitute the value of n is equal to 1 if we substitute 1 it is 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is 5 and 4 into 1 is 4 is it less than or equal to less than 5 less than or equal to 4 here it is also false and here also it is false because 5 is greater than 4 and next value of n is equal to 2 in this class in this case 3 into 2 6 6 plus 2 8 8 less than or equal to 4 into 2 8 is it true yes it is true it is equal to 8 is equal to 2 so from now on see here this is a true value for value of n is equal to 2 it is happening true and if you take n is equal to 3 3 into 3 9 9 plus 2 11 4 4 3 is 12 11 less than or equal to 12 is it true yes it is true if you take 10 if you take 10 so we are random we are randomly taking the values because this is true for n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 so we are considering the value of n naught as 2 because after 2 whatever the value you are going to take the value of n greater than n naught n greater than n naught if the value of n is greater than n naught means it is above 2 okay if it is greater than n naught and if this equation happens to be true then we can say that 3n plus 2 can be represented as big o of g of n here g of n is this is g of n see here this is g of n and c what is c value it is constant c here c is 4 and this n is g of n then we can say that this 3n plus 2 is equal to big o of n we can say it uh, we can say it let's take the value of n is equal to 2 we are going to find that whether this value whether this equation is going to be true for all the values of n greater than n naught we are just verifying it okay so it is 3 into 10 30 30 plus 2 32 4 into uh, 10 is 42 so 32 in the case of n 32 less than or equal to 40 is it true yes it is true B here the value of n is equal to 10 it is true so it is happening for all the values of n greater than n naught n naught means it is 2 so it is happening to be true for all the cases then we can say that this time complexity of 3 of n uh, 3n plus 2 the time complexity of uh, we are considering it as f of n is considered as time complexity because we are finding the time complexities for the algorithms in our case it is time complexity and it is applied for any kind of functions okay universally it is proven okay so now this 3n plus 2 can be written as big o of n it can be written as big o of n and as we have said that what is that we are going to define what is the statement that we are stating what so as we have designed that asymptotic notations are used to describe the behavior of an algorithm we are going to make a meaningful statement from the asymptotic notations so what is that what is that meaningful statement is big o means it is the upper bound we are going to give the upper bound of an uh, uh, upper bound for the time complexity of an algorithm so what is that upper bound means is see here the graph see here it is c into g of n is the upper bound n is the upper bound for f of n 3n plus 3n plus 2 means 
the time complexity of this algorithm is never going to cross this big O of n is never going to cross this sorry here it is 4n c into g of n so the time complexity of this algorithm 3n plus 1 3, sorry 3n plus 2 is never going to cross this 4n never going to cross this 4n if the value of n naught n naught is greater than 2 so here at this point of time it is equal to if you take the value greater than uh, the value of n as greater than 2 we will never the efficiency the time complexity of an algorithm is never going to cross 4n so it means it is the upper bound try to get the point upper bound and this upper bound is the tightest upper bound what does that mean tightest upper bound means so this is true this equation is true for 3n plus 2 3n plus 2 is is less than or equal to 5n also for 5n also this is true see here if you give 5n here in this equation in this equation if you give 5n isn't it true if it is true for 4n means it is also true for 5n check once again if you take the value of n is equal to 10 3n plus 2 sorry 3 into 10 30 plus 2 uh, which is 32 less than or equal to 5n 5 into 10 is 50 if this is true for 40 means it is obvious that it is true for 50 if you take 6n then also it is true 7n it is also true so we are taking the tightest value tightest value means if you go less than 4n if you go less than 4n then it is it is not going to happen to be true so the tightest one you can take 5n 6n 7n whatever it may be but the smallest possible the tightest value to which this one this equation happens to be true all the cases where the value of n is e greater than 2 means it is 4n that is why it is the tightest upper bound big o notation gives the tightest upper bound try to get that point it is it will give the tightest upper bound so uh, based upon the algorithms so we'll try to understand the same concepts how the uh, big o notation can be in what way the big o notations can be uh, used for algorithms that we will try to understand in the next class you are going to get the complete idea on the big o notation at this point of time you have to get the mathematical idea it is the tightest bond tightest upper bound upper bound so try to get that point okay so whenever we can prove that this this happens to be true for the certain value of n greater than n naught then we can say that f of n can be represented as big o of g of n okay so this is all about uh, big o notation hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching